Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to walk you through how to use Zen Ledger to get your crypto taxes done. So Zen Ledger is a very easy to use software to help you get your taxes done. Remember that you can always ask us for help by coming down here, clicking on the chat, and just typing in your questions. You can also always email us at hello at zenledger.io or request to hop on the phone with us. We also have a support center where you can look up help articles. You can minimize this window by clicking down. So here's your dashboard. You'll start here. If you've logged in for the first time, then what you'll want to do is go to add account, click that anywhere, and you want to just start importing transactions. You want to start with your exchanges if you can and your wallets. So nothing will be correct until you have every single transaction in from the first day you've invested in crypto. If you only try to load up 2020, but you've been investing previously, 2019, 2018, the tax reports you get will be incorrect because the accounting methods flow through uh, that whole time period. If you don't load up everything, you'll be missing um, cost basis, which means your taxes may uh, look higher than they should be or you're missing some of your you know, fees and gas fees and transfer fees and exchange fees, and your taxes will look higher than they should be. So generally you'll just have, you'll click on what you want like Coinbase and you'll go ahead and import uh, and it'll just be one click. Uh, make sure that when you uh, load Coinbase, you also load uh, Coinbase Pro if you use both of them, uh, you need to do both. Sometimes you'll have instructions on the side or you'll have warnings. So you'll need to read what's on the right side. Uh, sometimes you'll need to go over and uh, click certain things inside an exchange, a CSV file, and you'll just need to uh, read through and kind of um, be aware of what you're doing. But your wallets and exchanges are here. A lot of uh, DAOs and DEXs are here and DeFi support. And you can always ask us for help as well. Sometimes you'll need to just create a quick spreadsheet that you can upload into the system. And we can always help you with that as well. But we have videos to help you with that. We have sample files and you can quickly create uh, these spreadsheets. If you want to just enter uh, one or two transactions, you can always go into manual entry and then you can go to the type of transaction you need. Sometimes there'll be a drop dropdown. Uh, you can also write in comments so you have notes later but uh, look for these dropdowns if you need to mark uh, a certain type of transaction like airdrops, dividends, staking. You can also mark if the transactions were in the United States or outside the United States, like on a exchange like Binance or Huobi overseas. If you're worried about where your wallets are, um, if you're in the United States, your wallets are with you and they're in the United States as well. And if you don't know where an exchange is, you can always ask us, or you can generally just Google where uh, an exchange headquarters is located. Same thing with outgoing. You can just click on the type of transaction it is, gift, stolen, lost, and enter it in here as needed. And wallets, we support dozens and dozens of wallets and blockchains, and you can just click on them here. And uh, sometimes we'll ask you to go over to the exchange tab, or uh, we can just paste in the receiving address and go ahead and bring in the transaction. So once you have a lot of transactions in there, you'll be able to review them. You'll be able to go through your past transactions. You'll be able to sort by uh, whatever type of transaction it was, withdrawals, um, and look for things. You may want to check your needs review tab because sometimes there will be some errors in here and you'll need to uh, maybe put in a price or you can just mark it as ignore because there uh, is no USD price that our system could find. You can also review what exchanges were brought in uh, and how many transactions there were. So if you know you did 100 trades on Tra Kraken and you only show 100, then you know there's an issue. And if you use Coinbase um, and Coinbase Pro, and you know maybe you'll realize that, oh, like I forgot to load Coinbase Pro, and then go ahead and take care of that. 
The other thing uh, you'll want to do is when you see transaction sources is you can save your progress as you go. You can take a quick snapshot of your entire account at any time and uh, select if you want a, a snapshot from all sources or just selected sources. And that way you can just save your progress if you're going to go make some changes um, and then you want to go back to a previous version for some reason. You can also always download all of your transactions and save your progress that way. So once everything is in here, you'll be able to look by tax year and you'll be able to go back uh, to the past. You'll choose your tax method. Uh, FIFO is the most conservative, but you can use last in first out or highest in first out if you and your tax professional decide that's the correct way to go. You can always add a tax professional at any time by jumping in here and you can invite them in and they'll be able to see your account and they'll be able to make uh, additions and uh, modifications to the transaction types. They generally won't have your information uh, to go log in and they won't have your 2FA. So they won't be able to add uh, new accounts with integrations, but they will be able to add uh, you know, a new spreadsheet or CSV if you need it. You can also only see your holdings. So you can take quick snapshots and uh, if, if you see that, oh, you know, I moved this Bitcoin away from Binance, um, but it's still there, uh, maybe I need to update my Binance records. But you'll be able to see a snapshot of every exchange and your holdings on the exchange. So in your tax form center, you'll be able to see things like if you have any income, if again, if this looks high, then you probably just need to go and recharacterize some of these. It's generally just needs to change to a non-taxable self-transfer. But again, uh, your numbers and your reports will not be correct until you've uploaded every transaction, every wallet, and uh, correctly characterize everything. Our software tries to automatically do that as much as possible uh, until you have uh, no transactions that need review. But um, sometimes there's little differences in timing or amounts and we'll need uh, your help clarifying those things for you. Once you come in here, you can look at all your tax forms. You can uh, grab your A949, your 1040, your uh, overseas uh, declarations, FinCEN 114 and FBAR, you can come over here and download your turbo taxes. So in uh, taxes, tax form A949, here's where you grab uh, your turbo taxes, or you can download the PDF. We never fill out any of the personally identifiable information. That's something you or your tax professional can do. You can also come down in taxes to get your tax loss harvesting, or look at your income report. So again, uh, if you wanna check by year and see what has been labeled as income or external transfers, uh, then, then you can mark it here and just see you know, what's happening and, and get a sense. And then tax loss harvesting is very useful. You can use this anytime during the year. Uh, lots of people like to use it in December, but you can use it in March as well to see what coins are trading at a loss right now uh, versus current price. You'll just want to check um, that this date is current for when you ran it uh, to make your trade decisions and that the prices are updated. And then you can go through and say, oh, I, I want to free up cash um, to buy more Bitcoin because I think that's uh, going to go up faster. Um, what's trading at a loss right now? And then you can look through find what's trading at a loss, go sell that, and then you have um, you know, crypto or cash freed up to go buy the assets you want or to move out uh, you know, to your bank uh, to use however you like. When you go over, uh, you can click on support here and you will see our support center and we'll have a, a ton of articles that can help you. Uh, a main one that will help you clean up things is the resolution center. And we have a video here to walk you through how to use it um, and how to go and look for uh, potential issues and go solve them. And once you do that, you can go in and you can start selecting and characterizing some transactions that will help you clean things up and you'll be on your way. But again, anytime you need help, just come down to the bottom right, click on the chat, let us know. You can also email us or we can schedule a phone call. We're here to help you. We'll work with your tax professional. Um, we love referrals. Please, uh, if, if you give referrals, let us know. 
and uh, we can we can help you and uh, the person you want to refer. We work with a lot of uh, families like uh, father, son, mother, daughter, uh, and investment groups where, you know, 10 people in investment group all work together. We've worked with thousands of tax professionals and thousands of individual investors. And we also work with big four accounting firms uh, like Deloitte and their ultra high net worth practice. So if you uh, need any help with anything, you can always contact us and you know, good luck with your tax season. Good luck with your investments and always happy to hear from you. Thanks.